Hey, what is going on, you guys? It's so here or Cameron, whatever floats you guys' freaking boat. Today, I've got episode number three of our Captain playthrough series here, you guys, on Lotro. Still going through the intro, you guys. The intro is kind of uh, pretty long. Uh, it's not that long, but um, I am kind of just splitting these up into 20 minute episodes, and so. Um, that way you guys get to see everything, so it may feel like it's it's a lot here, but I uh, promise that it's not. Before we get started, you guys, definitely be sure to smash that like button, you guys. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to uh, subscribe, um, and be sure to check the link down in the description below to get $10 off your guys' order of Axio. Um, but we're just going to be turning in these quests that we did in the last episode, so if you guys haven't got a chance to check out the last one yet, definitely be sure to go and do so uh, before you guys come and watch this one. But it uh, feels good to be back and recording for you guys again. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, here we go. Hooray, you brought me pork or bacon or perhaps sausage. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can make a little of each. Mundo weighs the parcel of meats in his hands. This will give me something to munch on for a bit. Hopefully this provender will last me until I can go back home. Cool. Well done, you have found more than enough for a good strong tea. This is sure to cheer Emdir right up. Give me a moment, I will steep the berries in some boiling water. Doesn't the bilberry tea smell delightful? It still reminds me of my gammer, <laughs> who made this for me when I was under the weather, even though my gammer is long gone. Aw, oh, that's unfortunate. You were such a dear to collect those wild berries for me, so I shan't be... Taking all the credit, uh, why don't you bring this nice brew to Emdir so he can thank you himself? You make sure he drinks it all up. Cool. Gift for Emdir. Does that tea smell of bilberries? That was very sweet of Kalendine. And very good of you to fetch her the makings. I am all the sorrier for I cannot drink this now. I, I do not feel well enough to just now. I'll pretend to drink it. <coughs> you must tell Kalendine I enjoyed her tea. Please do not let her know that her kindness was wasted on me. Emdir only pretends to drink the tea. He looks even paler than before. <coughs> Ugh, my voice, guys. Dang. Did that tea perk him up? I knew it would. Bowberry tea always fixes me right up, and I know it would especially... And I know it would be especially sweet if it came from uh, both of us. I know Amdir will be back on his feet soon. He is so brave. Uh, I'd give you guys a spoiler alert, but uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys. Uh, we'll go ahead and equip that one here. That's heavy armor, which we'll equip. That is lighter than what we already have. We'll go ahead and use our hope. A diamond thing. As Brackenbrook reads the letter from Calisbrigley, his face is blank. He reads it a second time, and only then does he look at you. I've been a fool. Oh, what have I done? I don't know. You tell me, friend. You cannot fathom just how wrong I have been. I have trusted Calder Cobb, and he did his advice for a long time, even after my own son tried to warn me of his duplicity. Dupli duplicity. Just kidding. My son John is a worthy hunter, but he has not set foot in this town for over three years. He will never forgive me for the things I said to him. Oh, what a fool I am. I told him he was not welcome in Arca until he stopped behaving like a jealous child. Now he and his hunters are our only hope, but what can I do? He does not deserve to be dragged deeper into my folly. Nay, Arca must withstand the storm without help. Breckenbrook is hopeless. You should ask Strider what to do. The Exiled Hunter. Do not, Do not despair. You have done remarkably well, indeed, better than I could have done. You earned Captain Brackenbrook's trust. You must appeal to his son John, son John against his wishes. I must leave soon, and our kid will need all the help it can get, even if a father's pride is at stake. I am confident you will be able to bring the hunters in and give this town a fighting chance. In the meantime, I must make haste. Emdir assures me he just needs rest. So we gotta ask the uh, exiled hunter John to uh, come to Arquette. So uh, that'll be uh, interesting here. So we'll uh, see you guys in a sec. All 
All right, guys, welcome back. So uh, we're here at the hunting lodge. I'm gonna go ahead and go in here. Now uh, we're gonna. Hey, it's level six. What? Where's my skill? I want to summon a herald. Just kidding. A little extra that never hurts. Part one. Talk to the quest bestower. Ah. You come from the town, do you? I have been watching from the bounds. The skies have turned dark and fell. And there is a shadow of unrest over all of our cat, over men and beasts and trees alike. Let me guess, my father has not the wisdom to observe such things. So you heard of his exiled son and came for me, <coughs> came to me for aid. Come then, out with it. I desire to hear what you have to tell. Well, you're not gonna like it, man. Defeat brigands to thin our ranks. Gather information about the intended Black World raid. Calder Cobb has shown his true colors at last. I knew him to be evil-hearted, but my father is too trusting. He does not like to think of, think ill of people. His blindness wounded me, but he is a good man. So, to answer your question, yes, I will come to Arquette's aid, I and my fellows. I am a hunter and a skilled warrior, trained by my father and captain, and I would rather die than sit idly by while foul brigands crash upon a decent people. Let us see what there is to see before the storm is upon us. While I gather my warriors and my weapons, you should sneak into the Black World's roost and uncover their plan of attack for tonight. Yes. We. Hey. Oh, it gave us more health. Oh. Well, that's interesting. So now we gotta go defeat some uh, brigands here. Ah oh, man, it's it's been it's been a good uh, it's been a good ride here, guys. Three episodes in, still at the intro. Um, the intro though is almost coming to an end. This is kind of like the last um, part of the uh, intro itself. Well, this isn't like the last part, but. There's probably like one or two more quests issues or so before it actually ends. So let's go ahead and kill us some some brigands. -y. Gonna have a little fun. Thought your mother told you not to hit any women. Just kidding. Bad joke. What if they're, what about when they're evil or they hit first, if it's okay? Hey, class traits. Cool. Level six. Outfits. So now we've got a, so mitigations, meh. Generally the only one that I like to be concerned with is, and you get a combat pet, man. So cool. So you're gonna have to move this a little bit. There we go. Let's see here. So your pet will attack targets that you attack, and we'll just want to do follow. That way, it just doesn't do anything dumb. It's just all kind of down. Oh, 
don't know why that kept popping up. Alright, so killed four of them uh, as needed. So now we're going to go ahead and go back to the um, hunting lodge. So we'll see you guys in a second. Alright guys, so uh, we're back here, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish this now. Alright, so now we've got to talk to Atley about the old East Path. Oh dang it, sorry guys, I forgot to uh, think Atley's knowledge of the layout of the old East Path will help us form a plan. Cool. This here, you guys, is just like a preview, but we'll we'll just skip that. So that will literally take like ten minutes. Not gonna even lie. I I know all about the old East Path. There are spiders everywhere. When you kill one, another takes its place. If we are to make use of the path at all, we should fight our way through and ensure that it is still blocked at the walls of Arcat. The spiders will do some work for us against the block walls. What the spiders don't deal with, we shall come from a forum behind with our axes and our blades. And we will fall upon them like a mighty cave coming down. Cool. So we got to see if the wall is intact. And we've got to make sure that uh, we kill at least four spiders. Four. Yes, four indeed. Marsh fly isn't part of the deal. Not at all. So we'll go ahead and these guys are all yellow. But we'll go ahead and go all the way to <laughs> we'll go ahead and go all the way to the back here before we uh, move forward. A dead Blackwold Scout. This Brigand Scout met his doom at the end in the old east path. So now we gotta kill four of these. This is so fun. I get to kill spiders with the Herald pet. How fascinating. I did see someone's Herald though have like 150,000 health. I was just like, how is that even possible? That's just crazy. But it is what happens when you get the 115 so that's gonna be interesting because our our health's gonna scale pretty quickly okay. but uh, we'll go ahead and uh, return to uh, John Johnny boy here just going through all of the the reeds and everything should have done me a hunter, just kidding. I like Captain. Captain's basic, they're they're good, they're decent. They're well rounded classes. Ah, this that is good news. A dead end at the end of the path will work in our favor. The brigands will be slowed and they will have the spiders at their heels. And the hunters will come from behind while the soldiers attack at the head. I will go to Arquette to rally them and ready them for the storm that awaits them tonight. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick one here. Talk to John Brackenbrook. Quickly, Calder Cobb is making his move against Arquette. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Um, so, we'll actually stop the episode right there. Um, and uh, continue on in the... Uh, next episode, you guys, um, we'll go ahead and finish out the intro and uh, 
call it uh, good and then we can finally get into the meat and potatoes of the uh, series so uh, can't wait for that but uh, anyways thanks so much for watching guys again if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe also be sure to smash that like button if you guys enjoy the video be sure to leave those comments down in the section below let me know what you guys want to see in future videos anyways i'm so where you can with whatever floats you guys about and we'll be seeing you guys later peace Ignore you walking towards you with my head down looking at the ground I'm embarrassed for you